Well, the man accused of shooting and killing an A-Leaf ISD teacher over the weekend has now been arrested. Investigators believe the two met on a dating website just one week before that brutal murder. Fox 26's Natalie He joining us live from Sugarland with these just horrifying details. Natalie. But Caroline, that's right. Sugarland police tell us 28-year-old Wendy Dwan had invited her friends over to meet this new man in her life for the first time on Saturday. Then shortly after the get-together started, police say the two started arguing and the suspect shot Wendy more than 10 times before fleeing to Louisiana. 26-year-old Charvis Thompson was arrested Wednesday and charged with murdering 28-year-old Wendy Dwan. They had just met face-to-face -face or in person on New Year's Eve. So exactly a week prior to the to the murder. According to Sugarland Police Sergeant Matt Levan, Dwan and Thompson had met on the dating site Meet Me just a week before the fatal shooting. Around 9.50 p.m. last Saturday, investigators say the two were hanging out with Dwan's friends at her home on Oxford Mills Lane in Sugarland when they started arguing. It had started inside the house. It kind of spilled into the backyard of the house. At that point, uh, gunfire erupted and our witnesses had actually left the house at that point for their own safety. She was shot multiple times, over 10 times. So very brutal, very callous murder. Investigators say Thompson then left in his own vehicle. His car later identified by surveillance cameras nearby and tracked to Louisiana by the Gulf Coast Violent Offenders Task Force. I just heard that her students uh, loved her a lot. I, I really feel sad for them. I feel sad for the family. Hope they overcome this. Those who knew the Boone Elementary School teacher said she was a kind and soft-spoken spoken person who dedicated her career to helping kids and then spending her free time volunteering to feed the homeless. But she did have a great spirit. She was very nice and a loving person. Investigators say Thompson is expected to have an extradition hearing soon and will be transported back to the Fort Bend County Jail soon after that. We did also search his records and found out that Thompson does have a criminal past. In fact, he was actually out on bond for a previous family assault charge back in May. We'll have more details on that coming up at 6 o'clock on the News Edge. From now, we're live in Sugarland. Natalie He, Fox 26 News.